tough place to come, but three points to take home. Yeah, uh, every game is tough in this league, especially away from home. So uh, we're delighted with the uh, three points at the end of the day on a clean sheet. Town doing well in the first half, uh, but still yourself and your, your back four colleagues uh, having to be called on a few times. Yeah, first half I thought we, we dominated the game. Uh, it was comfortable. I don't think they had a shot on target or well made Scotty work really. And uh, we had a few chances. I felt we should be leading at half time. But uh, second half, we started it a bit sloppy, to be honest, all, all of us as a team. And Eddie put us under a bit of pressure, but uh, we managed to nick a goal and hold, hold on. Did you feel concerned at any point during the second half that the, uh, that the pressure would uh, pay off? Oh, we were confident in our defending. We had a good shape about us in the first half. We just managed to do that the second half. Maybe we got a bit too deep, but uh, like I said, after this goal, they chucked everything at us, so it was always going to be defending to, to the final whistle. And then towards that final whistle, there was that moment when uh, your defensive partner, Mark Roberts, hooked away off the line. Yeah, great position by Robbo. Uh, they put us up under pressure. Well, we give the ball away sloppy again in midfield. Well, not again in this game, but again this season. Like Second balls, he picked it up and uh, skipped past me. I just deflected off my shoulder, went into his path. And uh, Scotty's come out, he's just clipped it over Scotty. Good finish, to be fair to the guy. And uh, Robbo's in a great position. So that, that could have been a turning point in the game, but uh, another key point for yourself in the game, uh, you went down in the first half, looked like you was injured. Uh, what had happened then? Uh, you bet that's Conor McGottin because he, he thought I was the, the striker and he took me out. So, no, I just got, uh, just got a bit of a knock to my knee. We both went to block the ball and uh, his studs went into my knee, but uh, just a knock. You get them you know, every day, really, so let's get on with it. Yeah, it was good to see you pick yourself up because uh, they started threatening and, uh, you know, not concerned for yourself, you just wanted to make sure that the team were OK. Yeah, the team was OK, yeah. Uh, we got put under pressure second half, like I said, when John Parkin got the ball and ran 60 yards backwards. Uh, other than that, we did all right, yeah. And then turning away from the football, a busy week for you, training, but also Thursday evening. Yeah, uh, training most importantly, and then looking forward to a Thursday evening with the QA and the chairman and the gaffer as well, so it should be a good day, yeah. So you'll be hoping to see as many Cod Army up in the Parkside suite from 7 o'clock? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, get yourself there. I'm sure they want to ask uh, the chairman questions and the manager questions as well as me, like so. Uh, should be a good turnout. And then a uh, bit of heckling in the background, parking first and Sarsavik now. Uh, Sarsavik's game, what, just sum that up in a couple of words. Yeah, played well, worked hard for the team. Uh, oh, dribbled it a few times when he should have shot, but over than that, he did well. <laughs> okay, Nathan, thank you.